Good. We are back now. So we're going to show it tilted as Earth comes around. North Pole still tilted to the right, but now that's away from the sun. South Pole tilted to the left still, but towards sun. Spin axis. And we're good. Spinning around like this, not spinning around the terminator. The terminator is set because sunlight's coming over here. All right, cool. So we're almost there. Step six. On both Earths, draw and label the equator. What happens if I tilt North Pole towards the sun? And then as I come around, staying tilted this way, now it's tilted away. Tilted towards. Wait, what happens to the equator? Where is the equator in all of this? Where is the equator? What happens if I tilt? So it's here, and the equator is here. If I tilt, the equator stays at right angles, 90 degrees, with that spin axis. So that's not the equator. That's not the equator. Don't get confused by the terminator. If north and south pole are there, the equator's got to go across, perpendicular. If you want, use your fingers like this, right? And that's going to be the line for the equator. So what did I say? On both Earths, draw the equator. Equator, come over here. Doesn't have to be perfect. You'll get the idea. Equate. Cool. All right. Next, that's step seven, step eight in your coach. On both Earths, draw and label latitude lines that are parallel to the equator. Remember, latitude lines are the amount north or south of the equator. Latitude of zero, latitude of plus 90 degrees or 90 degrees north, latitude of minus 90 degrees or 90 degrees south. Latitude lines are called parallels also. And so we want a line parallel to the equator. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know if I can do this, I'm going to do this in red. And here we go. Yeah, I might do it in brown. Fine. Here is a latitude line in the north somewhere. I don't want to do it too far. I want to grab some night and I want to grab some day. So what's happening is Earth is spinning around there and you're standing in one place as you spin around or spin around or down here you spin around. This would be a N north latitude and this would be a, a south latitude. So now draw those same lines over there. And we'll come back to that. OK? So you can do that. And now we're set. Now you have to just see what you're seeing. Run an animation in your mind. On both Earths, you want to label the night and day parts for each of these latitude lines. OK? So that means that I am spinning. And here's the line for light from the sunlight here. And uh, let's go and hit that. Right. Look, it's daytime for me. I'm getting, I got to put on my sunglasses here and go like this. And oh, it's nighttime. Let's put our sunglasses away. And now I'm splitting into the light. And it's daytime, noontime, sunset. Nighttime, midnight, sunrise, around 6 a.m., noon, around 6 p.m., that's fine. Okay? So there we are. And then over here, we do the same thing. So when are we in the light? And when are we in the dark? Well, here we are, stand right here, right? Here's the nighttime. How long are we at night? Not very long, right? Here we've got daytime. In fact, that is the longest day of the year, isn't it? 
But wait, what are the folks, our friends in the southern hemisphere doing? Well, they've got, they're spinning around the same time to spin as we do. They got a long night, right? Long night. So this is night. And this is day. And you can see that that's the shortest day of the year for our friends in the southern hemisphere. What day is this? We both say that it's June 21st, but in the northern hemisphere, we call that the summer solstice. And in the southern hemisphere, they call that the winter solstice. But it's still on the same day, notice. All right. So can you see how the picture shows you? You've got a long night here and a short day. But here you spin around. It's a short night and a long day. And when do you, when does it, when does sun rise? Well, sun rises right here as you cross the terminator, no matter where you are. These are all sunrise. So when sun rises, you can say, oh, we're crossing the Terminator into the light. And then we go over here, and we do it over here, and we say, hey, let's do that same thing. But don't, don't try to reverse the tilt. It's still tilted the same way. The equator is still tilted that way. It's just all this changes. Sun is now on the left side, right? And so we go like this, northern latitude, southern latitude. You label it. You can see long or short day. Short. Here is the night, longest night. So this would be uh, around December 21st. I can float a little bit. And in the northern hemisphere, we call that the winter solstice. And in the southern hemisphere, we call that the summer solstice on the same, very same day, because they have a long day and a short night here. And as it were spinning around this way, here we'd be heading into the dark, and these moments in time would be our sunset, and on sunset you are crossing the Terminator into the dark side. So now you know, the tilt changes how long our day is, and that gives us the appearance of rising and setting and rising higher in the sky or lower in the sky, staying out longer during our 24-hour uh, day-night cycle. All that coming from Earth going around us. And as we're tilted towards, we get more concentration of light, less concentration of light, more concentration. As we come around, it's going to be half lit and half dark, so 12 hour night, 12 hour day, 12 hour night on the equinox. Longest day, longer day than night, but getting shorter. Summer, followed by fall, autumn. Now the nights are longer, days are shorter. Now it's the longest night, but of course I'm talking northern hemisphere here. And then it goes around the other side, equinox, solstice. Equinox, solstice. In the north, summer, fall, winter, spring, summer, fall, winter, spring. And that's it. That along with the concentration of light. And that's why we have seasons. And then, of course, there's variations that have to do with our atmospheric uh, weather patterns and things like that. So, okay, let's go on to the moon phases.